This is Laura Chappell and this is Wireshark Tip 14. If you want to stay up to date on the days that I release the tips, I release them on Twitter. So you can follow me at Laura Chappell. In this tip, I'm going to show you how we can filter on tcp.flags.sin equal sign equal sign 1 to see the first two packets of every handshake in a trace file. And I'm going to tell you, the reason why this is important is because I typically begin troubleshooting as close to the complaining client as I can possibly stand being. By capturing the traffic close to that client, I can get a snapshot of the round trip time between that client and the server. In addition, I can look into those first two packets of the handshake to see what type of TCP functionality is supported. For example, does the client support window scaling? Does the client support selective acknowledgments? Does the server support these features? That's important to know because the options that are established during the handshake process, the first two packets of the handshake process, those are the capabilities that will carry through for the rest of the connection. I've opened up a trace file called ftp-download-good2.pcapng and you can download this trace file from wiresharkbook.com. In this trace file we have a number of connections taking place between the client whose IP address begins with 67 and the server whose IP address begins with 128. I want to just pull all the first two packets of the handshake so I can see what the round trip time is, just a snapshot of the round trip time, and I can see what the capabilities are between this client and this server. Now I'm going to simply open up one of these handshake packets. Packet number nine is a SYN packet. So in the middle section, I've expanded out the TCP portion completely. And you can expand it out completely by doing a right mouse click on the transmission control protocol line and selecting expand subtrees. You want to make sure that you can see all the TCP flag bits. And the one we're interested in is the SYN bit. Instead of typing in tcp.flags.syn, as I can see down on the status bar, I'll right mouse click on that line and prepare a filter based on the selected value. This allows me to look at the display filter and start learning the syntax for this. tcp.flags.syn equal sign equal sign 1. And because this is a filter that I like to apply to all trace files when I'm troubleshooting TCP based applications, I'll save this. I'm going to call this button SYNs. Now when I want to apply it, I just simply need to click the button up in the display filter area. You need one more step before you start analyzing these SYN packets. You need to set the time column to show you from the end of one packet to the end of the next, the delta time value. That way we can see the amount of time that goes between a SYN and a SYNAC. So I'll select View, Time Display Format, and Seconds Since Previous Displayed Packet. Now I'm able to get a feel for the round trip times. Now remember, I start capturing as close to the client as I can possibly stand being. And based on the first TCP connection, I can see that the first packet goes out in SYN, and I don't care about the timestamp on the SYN. I really want to look at that timestamp on the SYNAX. I can see that in the first connection, it looks like uh, the SYNAX came back about 14 milliseconds later. There we have the SYN packet go out. And it looks like in this handshake, it's about 16 milliseconds later. The next handshake, it's about 17 milliseconds later. So those are pretty good round trip times. Back up at the first SYN packet, I'm now going to go into the TCP header. And I don't care about the flags area anymore, so I'll collapse it. But I do care about the options supported by the client and by the server. So right at the end of the TCP header, I'm paying attention to the options area. And based on this, the client is advertising a maximum segment size value of 1460 bytes. And if I scroll down further, I can collapse some of these things, make it easier to read. I can see that this, cli this client supports selective acknowledgments. That's great, but where is the support for window scaling? So I would question that and go try to figure out 
can I enable Windows scaling on that client? Let's see what the server supports. Again, looking at the Handshake, the Synac packet, I can see that in the options area, we only have a four byte options area. This server apparently only supports the maximum segment size option. It's only showing us the maximum segment size of 1460 bytes. We don't see that this server supports selective acknowledgements, which is lousy. Ideally, I'd like both sides to support selective acknowledgements and both sides to support window scaling so I can take advantage of that in these connections. So there are two reasons why we want to look at these SYN packets. We want to look at them first of all to get an idea of the round trip time. Then secondly, we want to look at these packets to see what the capabilities are in the TCP connection on both the client side and the server side. If you'd like to stay up to date on these tips as they are announced, you can follow me on Twitter, at Laura Chapel. For more Wireshark training and tips, visit chapelu.com.